Henrietta is feeling really tired today and feeling tired can be quite an uncomfortable feeling. Sometimes we can feel tired because we've got a lot on our mind or maybe we just didn't get a good night's sleep the night before. So I thought I would read you one of my favourite bedtime stories because sometimes a story can help to get you off to sleep. This one's called Peace at Last and it's by Jill Murphy and it's about Mr Bear who can't get any peace and quiet to be able to fall asleep. The hour was late. Mr Bear was tired and Mrs Bear was tired and Baby Bear was tired. So they all went to bed. Mrs Bear fell asleep. Mr Bear didn't. Mrs Bear began to snore went Mrs Bear. Oh no, said Mr Bear. I can't stand this. So he got up and he went to sleep in Baby Bear's room. Baby Bear was not asleep either. He was laying in bed pretending to be an aeroplane. Meow, went Baby Bear. Meow, meow. Oh no, said Mr Bear. I can't stand this. So he got up and he went to sleep in the living room. Tick tock went the living room clock. Tick tock, tick tock. Cuckoo, cuckoo. Oh no, said Mr Bear. I can't stand this. So he went off to sleep in the kitchen. Drip, drip went the leaky tap. Mm, went the refrigerator. Oh no, said Mr Bear. I can't stand this. So he got up and he went to sleep in the garden. Well, you wouldn't believe what noises there are in the garden at night. Twit to woo, went the owl. Snuffle, snuffle, went the hedgehog. Meow, sang the cats on the wall. Oh no, said Mr Bear, I can't stand this. So he went off to sleep in the car. It was cold in the car and uncomfortable, but Mr Bear was so tired that he didn't notice. He was just falling asleep when all the birds started to sing and the sun peeked in through the window. Tweet, tweet, went the birds. Shine, shine, went the sun. Oh no, said Mr Bear. I can't stand this. So he got up and he went back into the house. In the house, Baby Bear was fast asleep and Mrs Bear had turned over and wasn't snoring anymore. Mr Bear got into his bed and closed his eyes. Ah. Oh. Peace at last, he said to himself. <coughs> Went the alarm clock. <coughs> Mrs Bear sat up and rubbed her eyes. Good morning, dear, she said. Did you sleep well? Not very well, yawned Mr Bear. Never mind, said Mrs Bear. I'll bring you up a nice cup of tea. And she did. Poor Mr Bear. He's going to have a very tired day today. Please remember, feeling tired is an uncomfortable feeling, but if you're feeling tired, make sure you let somebody know and tell them how you're feeling because it's just our body's way of telling us we need to stop and have a little bit of a rest. <laughs>